side 4th of July parade from happening, but as we've reported, a change in the Cincinnati Police Department policies almost stopped everything there. Two weeks ago, parade organizers announced that they were able to reach an agreement with CPD. Now, WCPO 9 News reporter Anna Azalian introduces us to a group that's been part of the parade for decades. In Northside, anything goes. Louise Wants has lived in Northside for decades, and not only does she love the unique aspects of the neighborhood, but she embraces it herself. For more than 25 years, the Northside Lawn Chair ladies have been keeping Northside weird, and this year is no exception. Wants has been part of the group since it started in the 90s. All right, so why the lawn chairs? Because we get to sit. When we're tired, we do a routine and we sit. Armed with vintage aluminum lawn chairs. Three, four. These ladies are on a mission. Have fun. It brings happiness and joy. Plus, they're spreading this message. Keep Northside weird. Lead lawn chair lady Anna Donnell says she started incorporating the message into their routine last year with a sign on her lawn chair. She says the whole idea behind Keep Northside Weird is to celebrate the neighborhood, but also encourage people to work to preserve everything that makes it great. And this year, the neighborhood had to do just that to make the 4th of July parade happen. Organizers tell us they worked with CPD to meet new safety requirements and get enough volunteers. I think for us, we were just planning as like, it's going to happen. And I think that's what the neighborhood always does. Like, it will happen, rain or shine, it's always going to be part of the neighborhood. And this year, it was more rain than shine, but the lawn chair ladies and the other parade participants danced through the puddles anyway. I always say this is the most patriotic parade in all the world because where else but in Northside could you do all of this? We love Northside, Anna Zalian, WCPO, 9 News.